Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali, and today I'm going to be reading y'all's assumptions about me. So it might get a little bit juicy, um, but I know this is a really trendy video to do on YouTube right now, so I thought it'd be interesting to just like know what you guys think of me. Um, so let's get started. So the first assumption reads, you grew up with a lot of support from your parents, your biggest cheerleaders. And this is pretty much true. I can't remember like one specific time where they just like, said no and like didn't let me do what I really wanted to do. Um, I will say that I kind of like went behind their back um, on a lot of things so maybe that's why but I mean overall like they're really supportive of me. If you guys watch my videos you know that I didn't go the doctor route and that's kind of like an Indian stereotype that every Indian child is like forced into being a doctor <laughs> but I don't know I feel like my parents just like let me kind of do whatever but i'm also the second child and my sister's trying to go to pa school so maybe she just took all the heat for me so thanks nisha for doing that the next one says i assume you really got your shit together you seem organized and driven you know i'd like to think that i'm organized i'm honestly in complete denial i feel like living in a sorority house like made me so messy for some reason like i just can't put away my shit it's just a little different having like half a room and all the same stuff like i'm not a minimalist and i can't get rid of anything so i came into the sorority house with too much stuff honestly so i mean i like to think that i'm organized in that way um but i don't think i am because you open my drawer and it's just so much random stuff but i am organized when it comes to like planning um like planning videos or planning my day out it's actually kind of psychotic how i plan my days like i will literally plan it to the T. Ryan always makes this joke like I make time for breathing but honestly it's so true. I literally put drive like I make time for everything just because I never want to be late and I just always want to have time and not feel rushed. So in that aspect I'm organized um, and I will say I'm pretty driven. I mean I feel like I've done a lot and I'm only 22 so yeah I'd say so. Next one says that you are never low. And I think this means that you are just never down on yourself or you're never stressed out. That's what I'm taking from it. Um, and I would definitely say this is false. Like I, I get stressed out pretty much every single day. Um, it's never anything like super severe where I can't get my work done or, you know, it kind of affects me in like a depressing way. Um, I mean, I kind of just like overcome it. Like, okay, I have a lot to do. Let me plan it out. So I kind of go into this mode where it's like times 10 of my psychotic planning. So I always get out of my low pretty quickly. So I'm very blessed. The next one says, everything that you want comes to you. Honestly, in some aspects, this is so true because I feel like the law of attraction really works. I mean, I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but it's basically when you think positive things, you you know, kind of put like your positive energy out into the universe about like one specific thing and then like it comes back to you. So like if you're negative, obviously negative things are going to happen. This is just one instance of this happening. So I, I was telling Ryan, I was like, I really want to get into like more wedding photography or like at least book like an engagement shoot. Like I just want to take more photos and like do videos of couples and literally not even a month later i got a dm of someone asking me to do their engagement shoot so i'm so excited i booked my first engagement shoot i would never think that would happen but it just like comes to me i feel like i'm super blessed when i have so many of these opportunities coming to me and like i feel like i don't really have to like go out there and find them they just somehow kind of land in my lap so yeah i'd say this is pretty true next someone said I assume you've always been confident and this is like a hundred percent not true. If you know me like maybe like middle school and before, you know that I was that girl with all those skin diseases. Like I kid you not, I remember growing my hair out like to my waist, maybe in fifth grade or something. No one has that long of hair then, but I literally just want it to be so long just so I could cover my face. I somehow felt like my hair was just kind of like a blanket so no one could like stare at me which is really sad um and like another thing is that i was super hairy growing up because i'm indian <laughs> so in my mind i had to wear like 
long sleeves and jeans every single day even when it was like blistering hot outside and i had to go to recess but that one comment from that stupid boy that says like you have hairy arms just changes so much for a little girl you know like i don't know if you guys have had this experience but just one comment could make you think about it so freaking much if somebody ever said something about my skin like i would hide even more if somebody said anything about my hairy arms i would you know sweat even more because i'd probably wear more layers just so they wouldn't see it so um yeah i haven't been always super confident i honestly feel like being in a sorority made me more confident because you're around so many like supportive girls and you kind of just don't find that in high school i mean like sure like some of my friends were supportive back in high school but not like this like it's insane but i don't know i definitely like owe a lot to my sporty Katie for making me so confident. The next one is you come from strict parents. And if you guys have watched like any videos with me and Ryan, especially like a Q&A, you guys know that I hid Ryan for two years. The moral of the story is that I thought they were a lot more strict than they actually were. They always said that education comes first. Um, so I kind of had that ingrained in my mind. So I never talked about boys. I literally never really hung out with people on the weekdays because I just thought like, it was just ingrained in my mind that those days were for school um but like i feel like if i asked to hang out with someone they would say yes you know so like i feel like i just went my whole life like thinking they were gonna say no but i don't think they would have said no if that makes sense <laughs> but now they're like not strict at all i mean obviously i'm 22 i can pretty much do whatever i want but they're kind of at that like moment in their life that they're like okay do whatever makes you happy so they're yeah i don't know why i ever thought they were super strict this one says you have perfect hair and skin all the time this is also super false my skin acts up at weird times and i never know what causes it i mean like sure i'm lactose intolerant and sure the doctor told me to like not eat or drink dairy but i do it anyways you know so it could be that but either way it just flares up at certain times and i can't really pinpoint the exact thing most of the time it happens when like i go from a, a climate change um especially when i'm traveling from Florida to Georgia and back because they're two different climates. Um, so my skin kind of freaks out then. Um, I do get the occasional pimple and stuff, but I mean, my skin bounces back pretty quickly. So I will give it that. Um, my hair, I literally almost never do my hair, especially because I'm in a workout grind and I don't ever want to like do my hair and then go to the gym and then not make it worth it. And I also only wash my hair once or twice a week. So it doesn't look super great all the time, but I'm glad you think that. Thank you. <laughs> so I got a few that said your family's rich or you seem wealthy and all of that. Hmm. I don't know how to talk about this. Just like money makes me like kind of uncomfortable if I'm being honest, but um, hmm. So my dad is an entrepreneur and he does really well and he's worked his ass off for like whatever he has. He's very street smart and he knows what he's doing and I mean he's had so much experience that he just knows what he's doing so I've always lived a very fortunate life and I'm very blessed to say so so coming to college you know I had floor prepaid and my dad helps out with my tuition and my rent so I'm really fortunate to not have to worry about that especially like with all the stress of just being in college um, and being just 22 you know I will say I took after my dad and I've always had a hustle and I've always been really money driven and obviously the YouTube thing didn't really start out because I was money driven. Um, I did it when like it wasn't really a thing that you would make money off of it. It was just like a hobby for me because I'm super into videography. But speaking of videography and photography, I kind of just started doing like photo shoots and video shoots. And like I said before, opportunities kind of just come to me. So I booked a lot of shoots um, while I was in college and I definitely couldn't live off like what I make from that. But it is a side job and I do make money from that. Um, right now, I currently have four jobs, which is insane to like even say. But technically, I really do have four jobs. So number one, YouTube. Number two, um, I work with UCF as their intern and I do get paid. Number three is I work for Zup, which used to be Party Tutor as their social media director and content creator. And number four is I freelance for videography and photography. So that's not always like a weekly job, but I do keep it as a job just because when it does come up, 
that's on top of like the three other weekly jobs that I have. So if I do come off a little bit spoiled on YouTube or Instagram, just know that like it's probably the money that I've made from my four jobs. <laughs> the next one reads, you have never experienced racism living in the South and being in a sorority. So this one's pretty true. I've never experienced it within my sorority, but outside of my sorority, like probably in Georgia, sometimes I feel a little bit, you know, uncomfortable, especially like when people stare. Um, I mean, I, I don't really think about it that much, but I have definitely felt like people are just staring at me, especially when me and Ryan started dating. I feel like people were just staring at us. And obviously I didn't know like the exact reason, but I just felt that it was kind of my skin color. I've definitely experienced some rude comments about my culture and stuff like that, but I'd say that's pretty much all in Georgia and not Florida. The next one says, you've never smoked weed. This one is true, I've never smoked weed. Honestly, I just don't really have the urge and I've never really wanted to in my past. So yeah, never done it. The next person assumed that you and Ryan plan on getting engaged shortly after you graduate from UCF. I don't know if I'm putting out the wrong impression that like that looks like that, um, but unfortunately we do have like a plan. Well, you know, I got my plan, but <laughs> I want to wait and I feel like I want to make money to save up for a wedding. Ryan's definitely talked me into the more practical route of the whole wedding situation. And honestly, the first thing I want to save up towards is buying like a house or just buying an apartment and not renting because I do want to live at my dad's house for like a year or two until I save up money. So I don't know, like I don't really want to get engaged to right out of college. If it wasn't about the wedding itself, I would love to be married like in a year. That's just, I've always wanted to be married young and start my family young and you know, do all that. But on the other hand, I do feel like you do a wedding once and you want to make it like super great, you know? And like, I kind of am that bitch that wants a big ass wedding and you know, I want to go all out. So I got to have the money first, you know? Next person assumed that I'm bitchy. And this is kind of like weird for me to answer because literally my whole entire life, people like thought I was a bitch, but then I, they met me and they realized I wasn't a bitch. I totally understand why they think I'm a bitch because I have the worst resting bitch face ever. Like even people in my sorority still think I'm like a bitch, but like they know me and they know that I'm really not, you know? Sometimes even when I'm happy, I just don't smile. And it's just, it's just my face. Like my teeth are small, my lips are small. It just, it's a lot of effort to smile. Does that make sense? But honestly, if you get to know me, I'm really, really friendly. So if you ever see me in person and I have a resting bitch face, don't be afraid to come up and say hi. It's just my face. Like, I don't, I'm not mad. I'm not sad. Like, it's just how I, it's just how I do my life, you know? So come say hi and maybe you can turn my resting bitch face into a smile. The next one says, you haven't really grown up like a typical brown girl. In retrospect, I feel like I did everything that like a typical brown girl does. For instance, my parents put me into piano for six years and I did Bollywood dance for like a little bit. They tried to get me in sports, but that was just not my calling. <laughs> I went to Kumon and I freaking hated it. I did C2 SAT prep and ACT prep. That was the death of me. Um, I don't know, I feel like I feel like I did, but the thing is in my school, there were maybe like three Indians. And I feel like all the Indians were spread out over grades. So I never got close to really any Indians except my family friends. And then there was like maybe one other girl that, you know, I kind of got close to, but like, but even my Indian family friends, like we did a lot of Indian cultural stuff when we were like growing up. But once we hit like high school, all that kind of stopped and it was kind of sad. I honestly think that my biggest regret is kind of just like being a little bit distant from my culture and like, and not that that's really my fault, because it's honestly just like the area I was brought up in. It just didn't really like present me with a lot of opportunities to get involved in that, if that makes sense. Um, and I do regret stopping Bollywood dance, even though like I think I sucked, but like it's just, it's it's fun. And I really want to start watching like one Hindi movie a month and just like slowly getting back into that. I sometimes listen to this one old Hindi playlist I have 
and it literally just makes me so happy it brings me back to my childhood so i really 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 need to get back into my culture if you guys do watch hindi movies please leave me your recommendations down below especially if they're on netflix i swear my favorite movie right now is those thana and that was like from what 10 years ago so i'm super like outdated in the whole bollywood life so yeah hopefully i can get back on track this one kind of goes along with what I just answered, but this one says that you're not really into the Indian brown culture. So like I said, I am a little bit distant from my culture, but it's just because there's not many Indian people around me and it there has never been. Um, but I definitely want to get back into it. And like life goal is to learn Hindi one, one day, maybe we'll see. The last one of today is you and Ryan never fight. Unfortunately, this is false. We do fight. Um, it's mostly on my part because I'm a little petty, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But even when we get into fights, like, we never fall asleep mad at each other. Honestly, the max time that we've ever been mad at each other may have been an hour. But like I said, when I get into fights, I'm just petty, so it's more on my end that I create the fight. But I'm very lucky to have Ryan because he puts up with all my shit. <laughs> so that's all of the assumptions that you guys had about me. And I asked you guys this on my Instagram stories and I want to post more. So if you guys want to see more about my life, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's so underscore gnarly without the G. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!